So in this video, I just want to demonstrate how easy it is to create parallax effects using WP Bakery's Page Builder. Hi, my name is Paul C. This is WP Touch, the channel where I show you how to create beautiful WordPress websites. If this is your first time on the channel, please consider subscribing and clicking that bell icon below to become part of the notification squad. Okay, so in this video, I'm gonna demonstrate how we use WP Bakery's Page Builder to create parallax effects on your website and throughout your web pages. So creating your parallax background is super easy to do. What we're gonna do is we're gonna create something similar to this. It's a very simple example, but the technique that you can use can be sort of transposed over to pretty much any kind of design you want. As you can see, we've got a nice simple parallax effect. Now to do this, we're gonna jump over into the dashboard. I've already got my page created, and we're just gonna go through the process of creating that new section and then apply the parallax effect to it. Okay, so let's go and create a new row. I'm gonna to click to add a new row in there. Once you've added that in, we'll just position that at the top of the stacking order, and that's the basis. We're gonna drop some content in. Now, it doesn't really matter too much what content you place in here. You can put images, text, anything you want. We're gonna keep this really simple example. We're gonna drop a custom heading in there. Just gonna put some text in, and we're gonna go through and just style some of this. And we'll set the alignment to be centered. We'll set the font size to be 72. Uh, text color of white, so it stands off the background. Once you've done that, we're going to change the font and we're going to use Montserrat. There we go. And 400 is fine. And we'll drop some animation on there. We'll do something simple like we'll do bounce down. And you can see that'll sort of just drop in and make it a little bit more interesting. Okay, so let's just say we're happy with the basics there. The next thing we're going to do is just add some padding to this. So the design options, we're going to drop in and we're going to say we want to simplify the controls to padding and we'll set a hundred pixel padding all the way around now we can come in and change this at any point later on that's the beauty of working with the page builder we can come in and make any changes as and when we need to as we're fine-tuning and refining the design that we're working with let's save our changes on there and there's the basics now what we're going to do is we're going to start to edit the actual row itself so if we come to the top right hand corner you can see we've got edit this row click on there and that now allows us to go through and set up all different parameters for the row and not the content that sits inside it. So you can see we've got row stretch. Well, for this example, we're going to say stretch row and content. We want to make sure it goes full width. You can see we've got options then like full height row and so on. We're going to leave those as they are. They're not required for this. Content position, we're going to say we want to put that into the middle. We're not going to use a video background, and this is the important part now. We need to go in and tell it we want to use parallax. If we click and you can see we've got a couple of options. You've got none, simple, and with fade. Well, we're going to choose the simple option, so we've got a nice, clean, simple parallax effect. The next thing we need to do is apply the image to the background that we want to use for this parallax effect. So we're going to click. I'm going to choose this image, and I'm just going to say set image. Once that's done, you can see that now shows a representation of that particular image we're going to use. We've then got the parallax speed, and this is where you can control how subtle or how noticeable the effect is. I'm going to bump this up to three, and that just makes it look just a little bit more interesting, a little bit faster when we're moving things around. We can go through then, if we wanted to apply custom classes and so on to this, we could do, and then we could reference those out with external CSS. We don't need to do that right now, so we're going to say we'll leave it. So we'll hit save changes, and that should be pretty much everything in place. Let's come and update our page. Once we've done that, we're just going to come over and we're going to say we want to preview our changes. Click on there, that's going to open up our demonstration page, and you can see there's our animation. If we scroll up and down, you can see there's our parallax effect. We've also got this now, so we've got our navigation popping over the top. Now, we can easily come back in and make changes, just like I said. So let's just say we want to add a bit more padding to the top and bottom, just so we've got a bit more breathing space there. We can just come back in and edit. We're just going to come in and we're going to go and edit our custom heading. Coming to our design options, you can see we no longer have the simplify controls clicked on. So all of our different padding sides, top, bottom, left, and right, are all available to us. So let's just come in and say we want to put 200 this time at the top and the bottom, not just 100. We'll hit save our changes and update on there. Now let's just jump over to our preview, refresh that to make sure everything is done. And as you can see now, our animation is in effect and we've got more breathing space at the top and bottom of our particular row. And that's it. Super easy way to create parallax effect backgrounds using WP Bakery's Page Builder. 
So there we go. Hopefully that's demonstrated how easy it is to use Page Builder to create a parallax effect and apply that wherever you want on a page or throughout your entire website to get a great visual effect. Well, if you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down and let me know why you didn't enjoy the video. Now in the comment section below, I'd love to get your feedback on this video and everything else we do on the channel or what you'd like to see in future videos. So please feel free to comment in the comment section below and give us your feedback. Well, as always, my name is Paul C. This has been WP Tats and until next time, take care.